Another beautiful morning in Spain yeah. and we've woken up with the wonderful views over Ronda Bridge and Fabulous. lovely parking spot we found yesterday mm. and we're going to try and um, find some parking in Ronda. We've looked on uh, Google Earth, most of them are underground or in buildings which is always a problem with a van mm. uh, but we found one that is open so if uh, there's spaces there, a big open car park, we're going to go and spend a couple of hours in Ronda this morning. We're hoping Trudy starts and is well after the uh, over, <laughs> over revving of getting stuck on a hill yesterday. And Mama didn't raise no quitters. <laughs> um, but it's one of those things. Um, she's cooled down now. She was very hot and a bit smoky. Um, and a you bit could, like me. A bit like Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> But it's only a couple of miles into Ronda, so we're going to go and explore Ronda. Then we've got loads of stuff planned for the next couple of days. But before we leave Ronda, I just want to say that we've Google checked and no donkeys were harmed in the making of this YouTube video. They can eat bananas. <laughs> Marianne, there's two cute donkeys next to us, so Marianne gave them a banana yesterday. And then she was up all night going, I hope donkeys can eat bananas. Are bananas bad for donkeys? And they can't brush their teeth, so there's sugar on it. And oh no, oh my gosh, I've done something really bad to the donkey. <laughs> I'm sure a donkey. They're going to be fine. And we've seen them this morning. They're looking very cheerful. Fruit and veg. They're probably healthier than normal, <laughs> eating all our bananas. <laughs> okay, to Ronda we go. We're in Ronda and we've managed to find the car park without a barrier not in a building so that was a close call we were walking out of the car park thinking that we didn't need a ticket because the barriers because the machines are covered and then we met this lovely english lady called carolyn you worked out how to pay for your car no well the machines were covered so we thought they're not paying today oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Just, uh, ah. Ah. oh that's good over there yes. and you keep feeding money into it until you've got a time on it like i'm gonna I figure oh I'm gonna okay 12, 21. perfect and then you go and put it because otherwise you get a ticket Perfect. Oh Thank, Thank God, God we bumped into you. So we are getting a ticket before we leave the car park. Well, we've successfully negotiated <laughs> the ticket machine with a little assistance. Yeah, we did need a bit of assistance. Yeah, the instructions on the, the thing that was written in English didn't match what the lady said. It said no. put the number plate in, so we were faffing around trying to get the number plate nice on my phone. big queue behind us. Massive queue behind <laughs> us. And then a lovely Spanish woman came along and went, no, no, no just put your put money, the money in. in, press the green ticket, bang. So uh, yeah, that was a bit ridiculous. Um, so we've done that. We've We're on the way. Up. We're on the way now to Tourist Information Center, which we're gonna go and get some information from. Yep. As always, we always start at the Tourist Information Office. So let's go and have a look around Ronda. helpful lady in um, the information office and um, just opposite the office there is a bull ring and we asked her is it still used because obviously Chris and I are not into that at all and um, she said that it's only used once a year once too many if you ask me um, but yes but you can visit it if you want to we're not gonna it's not our thing um, but there is a beautiful um, walk all the way around the city. So just behind the tourist information office is an area with a lovely viewing point. And looking into the distance, you can see where we slept yesterday and flew the drone this morning, looking back at the town this side. But it is really high. I think this region of Spain is going to be one that helps me conquer my fear of heights have a look at what's going on behind me
yesterday we had a bit of a shenanigans with Trudy. I sort of got a wedge down a little road. We were trying to find a um, spot on park for night. And uh, that's actually the parking spot down at the bottom, the little car park, where we were supposed to stay. But unfortunately, another van blocked the road. So I ended up having to reverse Trudy back up um, a little alley. So have a look at where we were supposed to sleep. Down there. One of the things that Rhonda is famous for is its old bridge going into the city. And you can see it behind me. Absolutely amazing structure. So high, how, how something that big, that old, and you can still use it lasts. That's good engineering. There is one thing I know for sure about Rhonda is I would never ever live in any of the houses that are running the lengths of the cliffs. They look so precariously balanced. They really do. Honestly, you wouldn't leave anything on a windowsill because it How would, would you just, sleep thinking one day it might collapse? It would I don't just know. fall to its doom. <laughs> it's high. <laughs> So the main shopping street in Ronda is a pedestrian walkway, a really long road surrounded by lots of shops, people eating outside, beautiful hams hanging in the window. So far, so good. A lovely looking town. We've been in Spain for a couple of weeks now and uh, visited quite a few towns. And I have to be honest, uh, so far Ronda appears to have a real cosmopolitan vibe like lots of exclusive designer shops people seem to be incredibly well dressed and turned out um, so yeah I think this is probably one of the wealthier cities that we've been to bridge in the direction of Old Town you come across loads of little shops touristy shops and little pebbled uh, roads it's really pretty and I think you could probably spend a couple of days walking around Ronda it's just lovely we've only planned a couple of hours so we're not going to do it justice but it will give you an idea of how lovely it is Everything is just really pretty. Look at this door knocker. I've got a fetish about doors. I don't know what it is. Old wooden doors just, just get me going. And look at this one. It's actually got like a little fist knocker. It's very cool. And this is somewhere that we will come back to, I know, and spend a couple of days. We want to get Doris up, but we're not sure if we're going to find a spot funny how you just seem to be in completely different countries in Spain um, when we're in the desert in Almeria um, you just now we're in some kind of lush tropical um, sort of like warm wet tropical country with beautiful trees lovely fountains little gardens that are just like manicured it's just so pretty it's bizarre how from one extreme to the other you can be in one country. It's a great town. It's got everything going for it. I know we always say how lovely a town is, but this is a definite top nine out of ten. Bridges and walls are not for the faint-hearted, but it's absolutely phenomenal. All the stonework of the walls and all the pebbled floors, and there are steps everywhere. The whole town is on multiple levels, and you could spend hours, days, just getting lost around the streets, and it's just beautiful. In fact, here's another beautiful place where the water is coming in off the mountains. Beautiful breed from Belgium, and 
and uh, I want one. And it's very nice gentleman, it's let me hold his dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's yes. One of our lovely followers called Nelda from Australia sent me a lovely message saying how fit and fabulous I was looking. And as I explained to her, I would be a lot fitter if it wasn't for all the beautiful cakes, pastries and lovely food that we keep eating. So one of the things that Spain is famous for is all the delicious, beautiful hams that they sell and sandwiches like the ones behind me. And Marianne doesn't eat pork, but I couldn't resist ordering one of these guys for lunch. And it looks absolutely delicious. So when you're in Spain, make sure you come and try some of these types of sandwiches and hams. Oh yeah, look at that. Lots of different meats, beautiful, absolutely rammed. It was only four euros, delicious. Mm. I could get used to this for sure. I'm dibbing. I don't know what I'm doing. What, to get them to dib too? Look! <laughs> anyway, cut for that one, because I'm just rambling like a crazy woman. That's what I was thinking, <laughs> you know, they look really casual. Casual, like, wandering they don't off. Look, they don't look like we've just arrived in Ronda, we've managed to find a car park, and I'm thinking, well, we, I don't think they know how to pay for this no, car park. No, we don't. I saw, we went over there and I thought, oh, it looks all right. They're all covered up. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break, you're riding shotgun.